everybody. Uh, Good morning <laughs> from Mexico. A lot of people want to know what it's like living in Mexico. So we're going to cover some of it today. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about things like food, culture, safety, and uh, the cost of living. I think we'll leave that for the end of the video so we can just cover things in the more detail. So. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get started. Absolutely. We've been in Mexico for oh, just over two years. Mm -hmm. We uh, initially landed in Cozumel, Mexico, stayed there for about just over a year. Um, and as you guys know, we then decided to purchase a small yacht. We flew to the U.S., got the yacht, brought it down to Mexico, and now we're living off our boat in Mexico. So we have a good perspective to share when it comes to living on land and what it's like to live on our boat in Mexico. So um, what do you think? Culture, let's, let's go with culture. What's it like living in Mexico? When you wake up in the morning, it's happy, happy. <laughs> yeah, so um, she is right. Everybody you're talking to is always buenos dias in the morning and, and big smiles and the music's already started, sometimes a little earlier than you wanted to. Um, but everybody's very nice. Everybody's very pleasant, uh, very cheerful, no matter what day or what time of the day it is. Yeah, so I think the Me Mexican culture is a very easygoing lifestyle. So mañana is a real term. Yes. So you know how the jokes are always said, well, mañana, I'll get to it, mañana. Well, that's one thing you're gonna have to get accustomed to is mañana means maybe tomorrow. Later. Yeah. It means, it means later. It, later. So if, if you <laughs> yeah. ask, a, if you text a, you know, a Mexican for a service done, they're going to be like, see, sí, yes, no problem, mañana. And I think what they mean by mañana, it doesn't, although the, the word means tomorrow, it means later. So yes, you are committed <laughs> because you received a response. You're on the but list. But if they say mañana, it just means we'll get around to you. Um, of course, you know, when we first got here, we'd be like, are you coming? Like you said, you were coming today and it was like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be there. <laughs> that is something that a lot of people have a hard time dealing with. That's one thing you're going to have to get used to. So, and it took us a while to get used to when we first got yeah. here, we were like, we we're still in go mode. You know, we're still like, okay, let's go, let's go. And, uh, um, and you're used to everything like that. Yeah, no, yeah. but now we're good. We can chill. Yeah. We, we actually enjoy chilling <laughs> yeah. so much better. Um, <laughs> Another example of maybe like the Mexican culture is if Don and I go out to a restaurant when we first got here, we'd be, you know, finishing our meal and our drinks and so forth. And we'd be waiting. We'd be waiting for the, the, the bill to be delivered to us. And we very, very quickly realize that the bill is not coming to you unless you ask <laughs> for be, it. So you're waiting. not being rushed out of a restaurant, no. you know. Um, I remember going to Canada this summer and I do my uh, my drive through coffee in the mornings and I mean by the time I, I was putting my debit card back in my wallet the coffee was right in front of my face and it was like let's go you know there's people in the back and so I, I'm actually now so relaxed that when I went back to Canada this summer, I was a little bit like taken aback. She by was the, holding up the lines. I was holding up the line. <laughs> it was super busy. So it's funny how I've now adjusted to the, manana. the manana lifestyle. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, so yeah, no, the culture and they're so nice. Mexicans are very compassionate. Uh, even like going to visit a medical doctor, it was so personal. It was like, you know you're part of the family once you get to know the locals around you you become part of the family and they're always more will willing to help us if we need help with anything and that's the other personal touch that you're going to receive here in mexico as well is the fact that for your um for all your medical requirements and stuff like that you actually talk one-on-one -on -one with the doctor you actually have the doctor's phone number not the secretary's not the office for the yeah. most part you actually get the doctor's phone number which is incredible and it also applies for uh if you want a loaf of bread dropped off at 8 a.m and uh, the next morning you call it you order it it's hot it's delivered and it's fantastic right so at your door. a lot of the old stuff old school stuff is coming back into play or it's never left here and it's one thing that is absolutely fantastic yeah. Um, actually, uh, medical doctors, if you request it, they'll actually do a home visits. They still do that here. There's so many options to consider. A lot of options, guys. A lot of options. Uh, just one more thing about the medical care. If you do uh, want or need to have a procedure done and whatnot, you get your results right there and then. You don't have to wait for the results to be communicated to your family doctor a week later and then get your results or get a phone call. Yeah, you technically actually actually 
in reality, you actually walk in with your results in your hand in a folder. Correct. So, yeah. Um, and that applies for the doctors and the dentists and stuff like that. So, uh, a lot of stuff uh, that's absolutely fantastic. You're not waiting, like she said, a month maybe or, or four to five days for your results, which sometimes you're not going to sleep for, for those, those four or five days, right? Because your brain's going a million miles an hour. So, um, the other thing you can do too, which is really interesting, is you can walk into any lab. Yes. without a medical note and you can ask the lab you can say i want full blood work done and uh you get your results emailed to you that usually is like if you go in the morning you get your results in the afternoon or they're going to email it the next day mm -hmm. it's very quick but you're in control of what kind of i mean if you're just curious about you know getting some blood work done or checking something you can get a full checkup done and uh, you get your results by the, yeah. the next day yeah so that's in a nutshell we can actually elaborate on that a little bit in another video if you guys are interested the other thing is, let's talk about food because the Mexican cuisine is very, very good. <laughs> so um, <laughs> no matter what your tastes are, uh, you will find what you're looking for, okay? Yeah. So if you're by anywhere by the ocean, uh, anybody, anywhere by the water, it's going to be a touristy trap, so the, the prices are going to be higher. Um, but you will find anything you want. If you want a steakhouse, if you want a sushi bar, if you want uh, Chinese food, anything like that, you will okay. actually find it anywhere along the coastline. Um, your your varieties of food will lessen as you start heading inland a little bit, right? Um, you, you head to the, some of the bigger towns, though, and you're going to find everything you need. Just here, right here, we have Starbucks, Home Depot, Walmart, Costco, Sam's Club. Um, a variety of stuff subways stuff like that right the produce in mexico is in my opinion extremely fresh i mm. love shopping at the local mercados the like markets the little markets on the side, yeah. if we don't eat them within a couple of days we have to throw them out so for the most part don and i go to town every couple of days or so mm -hmm. to replenish our fruits and vegetables but it is so fresh it's wonderful they do also have the bigger uh, grocery stores that offer all of your varieties. So if you're, it's not, you're not stuck with just small little you know, yeah, mom and there's, pop shops. There's, you actually have nice big big um, grocery stores that you can... We have Shadrawis in Mexico and Supra Keys. And, Sorianos. And the Sorianos. Yeah. And uh, that's basically like shopping anywhere else. But don't worry, whatever you're looking for, whatever you desire, you look, you will find it. Okay. Yes. I also want to say a lot of people I've seen uh, online are asking, hey, does, does Amazon exist in Mexico? And absolutely it does. So it's amazon.com.mx for yeah. Mexico. Um, and you can have the option of having them deliver to your door or deliver at an, a specific establishment within a, a town nearest you where you can actually go pick up your item. We've never had any problems with our deliveries, 100% trustworthy. They'll even um, call you when the delivery is on its way. So if they're not sure where to find you, because the addresses are kind of weird here in Mexico, but you'll actually get a, a phone call to say, hey, I can't find you, where are you? And you just guide your delivery. And, and my, my hat is seriously off to any delivery person that works here in Mexico, because I don't know how they do it. There is no numbers on any buildings, except for maybe if you get some, some of the newer condos and stuff like that. Yeah. But aside from that, street names, street numbers, there's no, house numbers. There's, there's no house number, so you, you're basically like the pink house that is between this street and that street. Like you have to try to describe where you are. It's pretty much a guessing game. Um, but the your delivery person, once they get to know who you are and where you are, they'll always be able Third to time deliver. Third time around, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's not a problem. I also used to send, when we were in Cosmo, I used to send a picture because they used to text you. And this goes as far as the delivery for the pizza guy as well, right? So they used to, you know, hey, okay, this is a delivery guy. I'm on my way. Uh, what is the address? Because they'll reconfirm or something. So I just used to run outside on the street, snap a picture in the front of the house. And, and send, send it to, it them, to them. Right? Yeah. And then they'll, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> that seemed to help quite a bit. Um, yeah. The other thing is... Uh, I mean, just kind of a funny on the side thing is the the Amazon drivers. They're so they'll deliver on their motorcycles, for the, like some for the most some part. of the time. And if it's not on a motorcycle, when we were in Isla Mujeres, it was a taxi. So it was a taxi mm -hmm. car that was probably off of their shift. 
or I don't know how that worked, but yeah. it was a car and it was packed full of boxes. <laughs> they were all unorganized. It was just, it wasn't, it's not like in Canada where you have like your truck and all the stuff is organized in no. the truck. It's just no. thrown in there <laughs> and it gets to you. They had and, the they're, method. and they're on time. Like the deliveries are on time. You would think like it's so unorganized that it might be late a day or two because they have to dig in their car to find your parcel. No. I don't know how they work it, but... They also have a Macabre, uh, Macabre Libre, which is kind of the comparison to Amazon, but the delivery times are within two to four days at the max. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's more of a local... It's a it's a Mexican warehousing yeah. delivery. And they're fantastic. It's like Amazon, but it's, Mex it's in Mexico. All right, guys, and for the next topic a lot of people are inquiring about was safety. So many people are asking, is it safe? Do you feel safe, et cetera, et cetera. So we have two uh, answers to that. One of which is when we're living in Cozumel at the time. Um, and secondly, being on the boat here. Um, so living in Cozumel, I never felt uncomfortable. I'm not that small of a guy. Um, I hold myself fairly well. I think the best person to probably ask is Charlie, just being a female, right? You gotta ask her. Um, in Cozumel, I felt, I mean, 98% of the time safe. There was never any issues. I used to walk Sammy. Say hi, Sammy. Say hi. I used to walk Sammy uh, by myself in the mornings, uh, afternoons and evenings, and I, I never felt unsafe. We haven't had an issue ever. Um, and we feel safe. If you are traveling here on vacation, we'd suggest you basically don't, I mean, go on, on your tours and, and so forth sure. during the day. But in the evenings, you know, just stay. Bring a friend. Yeah, bring yeah. a friend or stay at your resort and uh, enjoy the activities there. Sure. Have some drinks at the bar and don't be the last one to leave the bar. Yes. To yeah. go back to your yep. home. Yeah. That's the best advice we can yeah. give you. Um, as for now, safety on the boat, um, depending on where you are, uh, we've never had any issues at all. You will nef definitely never have any issues where, where we are now in Port Morales. There is three security gates to enter just to come into this place there's two other security guards constantly at the marina gate door and that's the only entrance in here and so. they're actually quite uh they take their jobs very seriously yeah. like every security gate that you get to they have to go through to get to our boat they will the gate is down and they stop and they ask questions they take your license mm -hmm. plate they might take your picture they want to know why you're Driver's you know anyone coming down. through yeah. Um, and even the the tourists that are nearby the resort nearby um, they're not even allowed down the they're docks. not even allowed to come near the docks to be uh, able to come into the marina itself so yeah. and of course all the security even myself uh, even last week I had a baseball cap on it was nine o'clock at night it was coming back from the gym and one of the security guards that knows us really well he didn't recognize me and he yelled like hey, hey stop and i said oh no it's okay it's me and he's like oh okay go ahead so yeah. we were very safe and secure on our boat here yeah um and even like if we try any marina they really get to know you and they, they mm -hmm. even in cozumel like you've got cozumel the security safe. gates yeah. there yep. for the marina yeah. so it's, and it's there's constant good. security guards up and down here as well in cozumel yeah. uh isla harris uh, depending on which spot you're at, there is usually a couple of dogs that are uh, on the dock that work at the marina that are uh, very friendly to you till dark. And then oh, after yeah. dark, they recommend that you don't leave the boat. Yeah, the dogs uh, don't, don't appreciate anyone coming near their property. Now, um, by the end they... of the, when we're, where we're in Isla, though, by the, after about three weeks and then the dogs warmed up to us, and uh, I would still never put Sam on the ground. I'd carry her all the way down through the docks and up the stairs. Even I found it sketchy after three months of being there with those two dogs. Yeah. It was a, a Doberman and... and a massive king pit bull. Big pit bull. <laughs> yeah. He was a big boy. Hulk and... We forgot the dogs. Anyway, they're they're the absolutely movies. fantastic. Charlie ended up giving them bass every couple of days because one had a skin irritation and she's giving them Aww. a bass. And, yeah. So anyway... Um, but yeah, nobody could come down that dock unless you're invited, especially at night. So the final topic we want to talk about is how much does it cost to live in Mexico? It's a big one. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to make this very quick. When it comes to the cost of housing, I think that's just all over the map. It depends what you're looking for. What we do want to say is that the cost of food, um, the cost of food and electricity, water, etc., is is even internet 
is much much cheaper so as for uh electricity is is a, th a quarter so an eighth cheaper an eighth of the price of canada or the united states um it depends on how much you have to be careful because if mm, they go by uh, by tier so yeah. you just so, have to be you have to keep an eye on it you have to watch it um so to give you an example the three bedroom house that we had in cosmo we ran one of the air conditioners pretty much non-stop yeah. we had a small pool which uh ran probably eight to ten hours a day uh, with the filters um and that was averaging, I think, five to 600 pesos. Uh, if you can keep your air off, you're gonna be paying, honestly, 15, 20 dollars a month. Um, as for your water bill, you can expect anywhere with the pool, which we ran and filled and backwashed and all this stuff, probably more than we should have, nothing else to do. Um, and it was roughly eight to 15 dollars a month, not including the bottled water, which is ranging anywhere from 10 pesos, which is, at uh, 50 cents to three dollars us so the bottled waters is like the 10 liter jugs he's referring to and um those are what we use to drink water cook with water any kind of water that is mm -hmm. needed to, for consumption um obviously you don't drink the water in mexico nobody does just say no <laughs> even uh, locals uh, yes um as for cell phone and wi-fi oh yeah so cell phones the unlimited um, would be approximately $25 US per month. So 500 pesos is what we use for unlimited data. Yeah. Unlimited Wi-Fi. That's about 30, 30 something, $32 US per month for your internet. And as for the cost of our food, we're probably at around 400 US. And that includes like our, our like if, if we buy beer or sure. whatever extras that, that we, we buy throughout the month. Yeah. On average. Three to four hundred dollars a month on average. And then you can throw in your budget for your going out every monthly expenses. Yeah. That all depends on you. If you want to go to happy hour down the road or if you want to go and treat yourself for a nice dinner and stuff like that. Or a taco for a dollar. <laughs> or you can go to the mom and pop taco stops, which I absolutely love. And after about the third <laughs> after about the third or fourth time they treat you like family. Tacos get a little bigger and uh, anyway, they're just fantastic. So uh, I, I just love going out of the way and finding a new little taco shop or a torta shop or a sandwich or, or something around the around the corners. So so yeah, so that gives you guys a general idea as for your the roof over your head, uh, groceries if you require like internet, if you're paying for your own hydro or your water, etc. We kind of gave gave you a general one rundown. Um, places to live in Mexico, like that's all over the map. You've got your coastlines and then you've got your uh, internal Mexico, which has the mountains, which is nice and cool. So we are in the Gulf, uh, Eastern Gulf, and it is the Mayan Riviera, the Yucatan, and it is so hot in the summertime for a three few months. months. Three months, it's, it's hot. And we hibernate. You'll do your chores in the mornings and in the evenings. Your afternoons are reserved for pool time or beside the air conditioner because it does get it's extremely hot. hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Five so minutes. So who out. knows? I mean, we're here for now. We don't know if we're going to stay here. We have a boat. We can easily go somewhere else if we wanted to. I mean, we're we're not stuck. We're not stuck in Mexico. We're not saying we're always going to stay in Mexico. We do love Mexico. Do we recommend it coming here? Absolutely. 100%. The boat is going to travel a little bit. We'll give you a little update on that soon enough. But yes, we're planning on doing some touring around and uh, we'll keep you guys in the loop. And please like, subscribe. It helps us out. And, ask us uh, questions. Ask, more specific. ask, ask. Yeah. <laughs> we're here. Direct we're here message us. Write us up on comments. Whatever you guys prefer to do. Um, as for the, the, the pricing, guys, like I said, yeah, you can get a spot from, from $100 a month to $5,000 a month. So that all depends on what your requirements are. Um, and that's the best we can tell you for the groceries and stuff you get a rough idea on the billing and uh you can live as, as cheap or as expensive as you can afford on your budget yeah. is it worth doing absolutely for me just uh well yes the fresh fruit and so forth but the freedom there's life nothing is like it and life is short there's no worries in mexico so life yeah. is short enjoy it while you can guys thanks Talk for watching later. the video see ya bye, bye guys, guys.